Nukulele tu shukran kutoka Mount Kenya. Mimi ni ule mtukuyu nimetumwa na wakuminti wetu kwamba tumefrai kama sisi wa Mount Kenya. Kwamba President William Samoe Ruto ametukumbuka tena, ametukwa dedi pitu President. Tulikuwa na wasiwasi ile siku kijana yetu gashako tulimpatia asadie kazi haka misbiemu. Tulikuwa tumesuka kwamba itenda kukuminiti ngine. Tukapenda, tukapata kwamba kumbe President and metupenda sana. Hametudishia hiyo nini? Hametudishia hiyo DPD President. Nashukuru sana Mr. President. Kitu ya tatu kama mimi James Jaroge wazewa karatina wamenituma. Wamenituma na mbuzi, ndampelekea President mbuzi. Lakini sinulize mbali tulipata mbuzi. Kuna siku tulifanya mambu yetu ingine huku kwetu. Nika fauli kupata mbu. So mimi... <laughs> Kwa so, mimi na joma ni ndapelekea mbuzi mbuzi tulikuwa tumepata mahali. Kitu ya pili. Sawa. Usi tumeona kama sisi kama wa Mount Kenya kwamba tuko na watu wa amani. Tukianza huko kwetu karatina tulikuwa na wasiwasi kidogo kwamba vile kijana wetu alimetolewa kwa serikali tutaleta vurugo. Tukapata kumbe tuko na watu fanya nini? Tuko na amani. Na tumeshaona dalili. Hata 2027 ikienda hiyo si side yetu. Bado tutakaa tu chini tutaomba tu Mungu wetu pale Mount Kenya ataleta shida wa Kenya. Tunashukuru wa Kenya kusimama na sisi. Kita kurudia kwamba sisi kama wa Kenya tumeomba Raila Molo Ninga msama. Because yeah. Sisi kama Mount Kenya tumeomba Raila Molo Ninga msama. Because sisi kama wakikuu tumeona kama tumezalidi huu mzee na tumenyenyekea mzee utisamee. Hata ukitaka mbuzi pia tutakuletea lakini kitu ya kwanza pokea msama yetu. Because ulikuja huko kutupatia DC story kwamba hii mambo ya Kenya ni, waz, ni baba yake, baba yake Raila Odinga 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 na mzee Jomo Kenyatta. Na kitu hapa baba alituambia kwamba usione kama wajaluo na saliti. Mimi si mjaluo lakini bibi yango ni mjaluo. Hao ni mashimejeta wa wajaluo. Lakini hao kitu wakuluo community wame go through in this country, they deserve a credit. That's why kila community yiki umana, that's lawyer peacemakers. Ouru kama likuwa na shida na President Ruto kidogo, alienda huku tu wajaluo kumsaidie. The same time huyu sasa Ruto pia, hamefika tu kwa hawa watu wake. Then that's mean, tuombeni sana sisi wawo kwa mba Mount Kenya, wajulu waende fanya nini, waendele kukuhishi kwa hii inchi. Kwa sinapata nini, napata msada sana kutoka kwa watu. Kitu ya tatu nataka kumalizia na ayo. Mr. President, unawana kama leo, hata inchi leo vili mekwani kama hata mvua itaka kunyesha. Then unawana kikwetu kama sisi wa Mount Kenya, ukuna nda lili ya mvua ni baraka. There is something that has happened to the country that mungu wanaona sana nyewe, tuwa ni ufanya nini lete baraka. So watu wa Mount Kenya musubwa heke sana. Si tukufanya nini? Tuko sawa. Na tuombe kitu kama tutataka kuomba sana. Kama wataka kumekasika na president wicho kwa hivu panguza president tukua na gumbi. Asani. So that's why tinasema hivi. Sisi kama wa Mount Kenya, bado tuko kwa sirikali. Bado tuko na deputy president. Bado tuko na CJ, chief justice, bado bado ni kwetu. Those are the arms of government. Si bado tuko kwa sirikali. Sika sirike, bado tukuna pole mungu yetu, dayo tukuka hako kwa milima, tutaomba, na mungu bata lena nini? Baraka. Mombingina ataka muombe, mnuisha ujua. Kume munataka kama mnachukua huu present kweli kama mnachukua ya ukweli, mfanye nivi. Muombe wazungu wa washe ule baba. Kama munapende ukweli, mzungu wa kiyosha baba, wicho kukua sisi kama mwatu wakaya, kama sapata yake, atutaki ya fanya nini? Awashe. Tunataka mzee apata nini? Apata hiyo kiti, ndio fanya kazi yendele mzuri. Lakini kama munachukua pia, Ebu muombe anguke, hakuja wa saidia hapa. Lakini hakikuja, musiruke tena. Ujotu na juonga nyinyi ujanja yetu sasa sisi wa Mount Kenya. Baba kisema left na indaga right. Na kitu pia tunashukuru president ni misau. Kwa mba watu wa Kenya wamesema, umetupatia mtu wakona experience. Anaito wa Professor Kindiki. Professor. Kindiki mwenyewe. Ujua kitu wa, wa nini wa, wa, wa sisi binadamu, that's why ile siku noa alikuwa tengeneza nini ile mele yake. Alemua kuenda na wanyama. Kukua sisi ni wakora 34B human being. So, kuna kitu nitoka experience. Ujua zilizo nwa higa shako wameenda home kwa sababu wako wana experience. Na experience pia sinakonga wakora sana. Mutu, malipeke yake watu atakagi experience ni kuowa. Ujua, ukienda kutafuta kazi kwa ufizi, nalizo usia fanya kazi wako, nasema nisha fanya wapi wapi, nisha fanya karatina, nyeri. Na ukitaka kuowa, hapo nitoataka mutu innocent. Uwe zema ati amelewa na njoroge, amewacha, amelewa na njuguna. Hapo nitoataka mutu innocent. So, saa hii, tumeletea president mutu wako na fanya nini? Hako na experience. So, sisi, to support William Samoy Ruto na policies zake, na serikali, na kenduri kindiki, na sisi wa Mount Kenya. Hata kama tumekasirika sana, mbado kuna option, katiba yeti na seme kwana, yu kuna freedom ya kufanya nini? Kwa express yourself. Kama bado kuna katiba kwa part of it, kuna mandamano. Tunaza mandamano kishu barabara, bado yiko hapa, kidogo, tunaza nini? Itamishwa, na wale wabunge, wale wabunge, Na tunashukuru pia wakamba wale tuwetusaidia kuwana kijanetu wale kuwa ule mkamba leta 
ya impeachment letter kwa nini emotion pale akasema kwamba huja maita kuwa mzuri kupaka ngeda tu mtuze ya zero so tunaomba kama sisi wa kikuyu pia tumtume tu tunazangaa kumpiza tena kama tuko na sida kidogo na mtu atusaidie pia kwa hiyo mambo haja haja ama bado ni mbunge kumleta tena andike ngine afuleke fanya nini eh but bora tu asikuze president president squeeze is about the law president is a symbol of national unity thank you so much may god bless kenya thank you joroge hata kama ni kidiki yuko na kachagua mengatuliwa kwa kweli unless tomorrow you wake up you go work <laughs> no difference in your life hakuna <laughs> wakati yeyote atakuletea chakula kwa kwa nyumbani hakuyo kulishia bibi kuna jua yako unless you wake up and you go work naelewana hivyo the reality is we may there's those who possibly they celebrate because one so is gone we been this country for quite some time i was there before moti party came now when moti party came actually we really celebrate so much it's not that i'm against moti party because it is kama kuna wale watu na appreciate ni wale watu walipigania what you call moti party in fact though the heroes na wale those people need actually to celebrate lakini kuna kitu moja mmoja alituambia siasa mbaya maisha mbaya personally i may talk of politics but i prefer kuongea what you call social and economic politics maybe within this platform tutone na zongea inaweza fika pahali maybe to the policy makers kama kenya everybody can have enough pesa ya kisustain kwa maisha msivyo tamu sinasema hivi kama tuna ile maskini ile low level za poverty hata ingekuwa na haja ya siasa mingi because zema ukweli we have enough resources in this country sisi si wengi tuko about 52 million ukienda pale kama china they almost 2 billion na china haina shida <coughs> like what is ailing also in africa kenya in particular lakini we got enough resources na which kind of resources naongea juu yake we have rat we have human resources why should you be importing food it to come wheat rice and the rest if we open up those lab is a good policies for the government because you have uh, even minister for rat can even do what you call they open up what you call skills you give people incentives or rat people are willing to work now those the, 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 the policies are only driven by the government we use the human resource <coughs> why don't you train our people and then we market that one as a river when i go na mingi sana we get our expertise we have very very bright people in kenya anyway we reform our education system actually kitu moja na fulaia ni cbc I've been uh, an H44 and I even found the old system. But uh, the reality is ile kitu ipofu ile fanya is ile kripo to education system. So can uh, manage develop the human resource if possible even export that labor more so the technical field. I'm not against uh, the, the the labor export and all this. It's one of the human resource that we can benefit on and we can really benefit more out of that zina mengi maana kuna wengine hata kuongea but as we are speaking now wana siasa they are focused on their stomachs and that's why we are suffering so tunasema nini tunasema tunataka siasa ambayo it will change our future and not cripple our future and a, a, a politics that will not be influenced from outside powers that will control us of course when you argue with the bottom up it was a good model that Dr William Ruto was coming with but because that city is controlled by someone else uh, uh, that is my opinion he has changed the tune and today we are suffering there's no bottom up anymore so i i i want to address Kenyans and uh, and uh, people who are in this bunge la mwananchi kama when we stand in this ground we are ad advocating for accountability in the government yeah. and now that there is no uh, accountability there's no people to put the government in check 
we are the one to stand here and say that because people like Maga, uh, Madari Wang, uh, uh, Wang, uh, Wangari Madai, they walk in these streets naked because they fought for this place, they fought for uh, Uru Park and other, uh, other conservative forests in this country because they want to sell them and to build structures in them. So if you will be cowards and not speaking your right, you're going to lose it. And the power is in your vote. The power is in your vote. When you come to vote, don't vote with your stomach, vote with your head. Thank you so much. President ameongea vizuri. Sisi kama wanabunge tunajipanga wengi sana. 2027 tunasimama tukiwa wengi na tunataka tuondoe hawa kora kutoka juu kutoka top kuanzia Mr. Must Go lazima waende vijana waingie e, nasikia watu wengi wanaongea venye sasa e, kindiki amewekwa kuwa deputy ameapishwa hizo zote ni sawa ameapishwa lakini swali ni ile hawa senior member niuliza whether apishwe ama fanye nini itakuletea chakula kwa meza hiyo ndio swali kubwa ambayo inafaa tujiulize kama wananchi hao watu ni wakora kutoka Mr Masgo hadi yule ako chini alipeleka e, impeachment ni wakora wote leo hii nataka kuambia kusema tu kweli wale watu ambaye wanaenda watapigia Mr Masgo kura 2027 ni wachache zaidi ni wachache kabisa <coughs> wale watampigia kura ni kama gaucho eh? Eh, watu wachache sana ambaye wanaweza isabika kwa nini ambaye nasema hivyo nasema hivyo sababu hivi <coughs> nataka tu kuambia kitu kidogo tu kuhusu pay slip ambaye saa hii watu wana nini wanapata this is my friend alinitumia hii na yeye alikuwa supporter wa Ruto zaidi nilikuwa namwambia we bro unapotea ananiambia my friend wewe unapotea now hii kitu hata speaker atanisaidia kama nadanganya ataona speaker unaona hii kitu hii ni pesa ngapi huyu mtu 350000 Kenya shillings Anaan. Aya. Sasa tuanze. Watu ambao wanasema wacha fungue biashara ni wale wailewi, eh? Ni nini ambayo inaendelea kwa inchi? Eh? Au ni watu wailewi? That's why bado tuko na watu I'm sorry kuita wajinga lakini si wajinga poleni. Now, huu mtu ana 350,000 pei pei as you want pei kwa wale wanaelewa si wale ambao wanasema wafungue biashara kwa wale wanaelewa pei analipa 94504 and 11 cents nssf analipa 2160 shift hii shift kitu ya jana hii Analipa 9,625. 